uh, I'm pretty sure up there it was just a plus sign, and now it's a plus sign with a square around it to make a post. I'm like, I'm like, is that the, where's the, is that it? I guess this is it. Um, I just filmed a 15 minute dream summary. Uh, so I'll post that and I still need to post yesterday's. I'm falling behind, but I can't let myself fall behind. Um, really, really struggling today, like all days, but I just, I want to be, I want to be happy. I want to try to stay positive and it's just, I mean, it's a sunny day. It's a sunny day. And I'm like, do I go for a jog right now? Uh, for like an hour, it's already 1230 or, and then it's like 1.30 or two by the time I stop, or maybe, maybe I'll see if, um, Charles is in the store and he'll let me walk over and I'll get some fresh there and then I can work there. Um, what else? I just, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a new square. Cause I tried, to, I was like, again, I'm like, wait, what? Uh, um, you'll be interested to see the dream video because I couldn't remember most of my dreams cause the phone kept waking me up for some reason. And then, uh, it was supposed to be on do not disturb. It was, I don't know what was going on, but then the last dream in the past couple hours, very intense, you know, remember uh, I met, I met this Indian girl and, and she kissed me and we were holding hands and it was just so nice. And it's the first dream I've had while that's nice, but then it makes me sad because I wake up because that's not a real person, but maybe it's a sign. Maybe I'm manifesting. Maybe I'm going to meet someone, but then it just makes me sad. If I meet someone, imagine if I'd actually been living a different life and, and like, and then I could be meeting people everywhere or whatever. Here, I'll just put my bathrobes hanging up. I block the heat coming from the doors. Anyways, um, gotta get up and do stuff today. Uh, oh, and a girl from uh, Woodstock, Ontario just posted in a, in a singles Facebook group or something like, hi everyone or whatever. And I'm like, oh, Woodstock. I, I said, I commented, that's my favorite city. I dated three girls from there in university. She's, I should have married them. And she's like, married all of them. I'm like, no, I guess maybe one. Or maybe I should have married one at a time. I don't know. But so that's making me nostalgic. And then there's this uh, Instagram page right now that I follow. It's like a Beatles fan page. And the, and the caption is always like, oh, my name's Alice. I'm a 16 year old Beatles fan. And I post every day about the Beatles. And I'm like, wow, it just, it's blowing my mind. Cause she's a teenager now and I'm not, and I wish I were, but I also wish I were like a, the age that the Beatles are in those photos, but she likes the Beatles, but because they're young and that, like, it's so, I don't know. The world is just, I think too much. I think to please just stop my brain. And what is uh, the human rights idiot? To hinge on Wi-Fi cards. And, and the Wi-Fi? Because you don't um, mm -hmm. use the hinge, yeah. the Wi-Fi card cuts the wire. Okay. I think it is mine. Oh yeah, I walked over to see Charles, which was nice. To get out of the house, get some fresh air, stopped at the bank on the way, and transferred some... I deposited a check from my U.S. account to my Canadian account. That's how I move money without losing in the exchange rate. A little technique I came up with on my own. I'm very proud of myself. Um, and then, yeah, sat in his store. He's got a, I guess, like an intern or something fixing computers for him and uh, just chilling out. And then Charles like, what TV shows do you like watching? And I'm like, I don't watch TV. He's like, sometimes you got to shut your brain off. I'm like... I have not earned the right to shut my brain off. And he's like, I'm like, I, I'm not doing anything. He's like, you do so many things. You do your podcast, your comedy. I'm like, hey, I think you're too hard on yourself. I'm like, I don't think so. I somehow waste every day. Um, but whatever. And then he's like, have you eaten? I'm like, no, I haven't eaten anything. He's like, you're fasting? I'm like, I don't know. I just had an apple on the way here. And he's like, do you want Chinese or Korean? I'm like, Korean. So we ordered Korean and the uh, Korean girl, the cash, I mean, she had a mask on, so I couldn't see her face, but uh, she had a Yankees hat on. I was like, I like your hat. She's like, oh, thanks. I'm like, have you been to New York? She's like, no, I wanted to, but I'm like, yeah, well, it's a nice place there. Um, anyways, so then we brought it back to the, and, he, and, and yeah, he was like, what shows do you watch? I'm like, I don't know. So he started putting on some show about a woman's prison, like a drama, and he's like, this is going to be hard to watch right now. So he was flipping through, and then he found this documentary on Netflix where this guy goes to prison, 
for like a week to different prisons to find the toughest prisons in the world. So we were watching one in a Philippines prison. And I know it's supposed to be a prison, but I kept saying, God, this would be fun. Look at that. They've got the guards to talk to. They've got all these friends and, you know, they have to sleep sort of spooning each other with their leg over each other. It's not a lot of room. And Charles is like, oh, you'd have friends. I'm like, yeah, but I mean, that'd be great. Oh, my God. And it turns out that's actually what I do my stand-up comedy about, about how I wish I was in prison. And then when we left, uh, he dropped off a computer at this this little shop that uh, specializes in motherboards. And it was such a cozy shop. That's why I filmed it. I'm like, look at this. This little... He had all these pictures on the wall of all the high school um, interns that he's had. Like, there was one from 2006 and stuff. And then, uh, yeah, I thought it was just cozy. And then he dropped me home. And then I got an alert on my phone that there was a board meeting for the uh, this charity at my old university that I, I actually wound up being on the board in person from like 2013 to 2017. So I joined the thing. And then at the end, um, I don't know, I submitted my name to be on the board. And I think I got on. I don't think there was enough people that they had to do a vote. And the president was like, do you want to be vice president, Josh? And I was like, I, I don't know. I mean, I haven't been on the board for a few years. And he's like, all right, all right, we'll think about it next next month but then i was talking to the woman who was vice president last time and she's like you know you could have just done it i'm like i should have but it tore my heart because there was this guy introducing himself i'm new, the new principal i guess the principal of the school and uh and i remember my friend louis in university when i was there like 30 years ago there was the principal i think he lived in a little part of the residence and i was just like that's so cool the week would visit him and they would talk and i've been thinking lately how magical would that be to be have your little office and be on campus and doing all the work um and so then i was like oh god i wish this so that that guy was introducing himself i'm like oh i wish that was me how how did my path not go there and then there was a couple of student girls in there that like oh we're friends of the professor and this professor guy he's the president of the board he's a political professor he's been the glennon for like a year or something and, and and so I'm like, oh, and they were like, yes, Professor Bessalel or whatever invited us. I'm like, can you imagine if Professor Rackless was like teaching every day and inviting people to Zoom meetings and stuff? How did I, how did this not become my life? And I know we say that, you know, you're not, I mean, we, I don't know, I've been reading lately. It's like, well, we, we made every decision in our life at the time. It was the best we, we thought of. And it didn't occur to me when I was at Glenn and I was like, I don't want to study psych. I want to, I'll go to advertising. That'll be fun. That'll be an adventure. It really didn't occur to me at the time. It's like, hey, 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 you're going to love being a professor. Like, I don't know. I just, I guess we made our best decisions at the time, but I think I just made a lot of stupid decisions. Ugh. And then now, oh, so, so also there's this comedy night. Oh God, this is a bad green screen. There's this comedy night for Purim that my temple's putting on and with a temple in Toronto. And the, the host is Humble Howard. And I used to, go on his podcast a few years ago. But, you know, we remembered a while ago that 20 years ago, like when I was 27, I called him up or I emailed him and he said, yeah, come by the station. And I didn't go. And I think I was just like, oh, it's too early in the morning or something. It's like, what? Like he probably, I probably could have been a radio guy. But I guess, I mean, in the end, I mean, that was just one little thing. I could have kept trying to do things. All these little things, even after, I mean, you look back and you're like, yeah, I took advertising in college for a year. I could have gone to, I could have, after that, I could have been like, hmm, let me go to radio for a year. Like, there's so many different things. But I, I mean, I wound up being on the radio. I just, oh, God, I, I don't know. I don't know if I, I just wish I was 18 and in residence and, and everything. It was just such a good time. And I knew it, but I mean, I wasn't that happy at the time. I mean, I was still neurotic as well. And nobody's frozen in time. Even those girls that are students right now in five years, they won't be students. Like, nobody can be frozen there, right? You just got to enjoy your time right now. So this is why I've, I texted Lauren to see if, like, we do a live stream now. Just because if I'm not doing something and being creative and, and putting things out there, I'm just going to start spiraling in my head. And I, I can't. I don't want to. I don't want to live like this. Okay, well, here's something exciting to tell you. Uh, yeah, like Lauren was tired, so we weren't going to do the YouTube. So I'm like, I'll just go to bed at 10 o'clock. But then Charlotte called me from Vietnam. I haven't talked to her in several days. Um, I guess I stopped because my phone wasn't working with Facebook. And then I just been panicky about busy. Anyways, she's like, you know, did you figure out the love box? I'm like, no, no, I made a video two days ago of me figuring it out. But I went upstairs to get it. And then also the, the diffuser. My mom had put it all in a... In a 
purple bin there in, in the living room. So I'm like, oh, so I easily took it down. Anyway, so she walked me through. I'll show you the video, the 15 minutes of where I was taking everything apart. But there's lots of um, essential oils she sent. And then you can see behind me, it's a diffuser. And it's like diffusing water. And I put in the orange scent. And it's so nice here. Let's see what the... Ah, let's see the... Come on, how cool is that? Now I think this button here changes the color. Let's see, is it this one? Uh, yes, look at that. I thought red would be best because that's the color that's supposed to not keep you up at night. Um, that's why clock radios are red. If it's blue, that's blue light and it's keeping you up. Um, so that's not good, although that looks kind of soothing. I don't know, maybe I should leave it at blue. No, you're supposed to do it at red. But if I make it red, I could, like, develop film in here. Remember dark room, Like, in high school, you'd be developing... I mean, that was so cool. Oh, I miss being a kid. I hope kids appreciate it. It's so weird to see teenagers saying, Oh, I'm so depressed and stuff. It's like, you're depressed. You could literally do anything. You could literally... All right, I'm invisible now. Uh, uh, I, uh, how do I turn... The lamp's not... Okay. You know what? Positive thoughts. Uh, let's go to sleep. Uh, how was your day? This is the response to last night's question. The only response I got, because it's not really a great question to be asking, right? It's kind of boring, but I'm glad that drop, uh, what did she say? Work from home because of the snow nap studied. Well, that's all good. Um, thanks for answering.